At AgroAmerica, we produce geocomposite drainage materials. These materials take the place of more traditional aggregate layers that we find in the bottom of a containment project. An important aspect of geocomposite seaming is the top textile layer. We're looking to secure that textile layer to keep debris from entering the geonet core where all the drainage takes place. In this video, we'll demonstrate the seaming of a geocomposite material. Geocomposite is obviously a, a bonded uh, product where you have a geotextile or potentially two geotextiles laminated to a, a net in the core. Um, manufacturers allow typically an eight to 12 inch uh, unlaminated edge of the material. So obviously if the geotextile was laminated to the net, we couldn't seam to it. We fold back the, the top geotextile, fold the bottom geotextile out of the way, um, we overlap the nets four to six inches, then we make sure that the bottom geotextile is tucked and overlapped underneath the geonet, and we take plastic zip ties, and we zip tie the net together uh, on a frequency along the seam, it's every five feet, and then on end seams, which we also call butt seams, um, it's typically every six inches or every foot, you add a zip tie. And then you have two options for actually sealing the geo geotextile, the top geotextile. And it's not a strength issue, but you want to seal the geotextile to keep foreign uh, particles out of the net. So you seal the geotextile and you can do that via sewing. We, so we use an industrial sewing machine and you can do that via a prayer seam, a butterfly seam or a J seam. And then you can also heat bond the geotextile together. So the, the geotextile is typically polypropylene. So it's a plastic, so it lends itself to being able to be sealed via heat. So we can do it with a, a wedge welder, you know, a fusion welder, just like we do the, the, the polyethylene, or we can do it with a hand leister and actually seal the geotextile. To facilitate the seaming process of geocomposite materials, at AgroAmerica, we leave an unlaminated edge of geotextile to geonet on either side of the geocomposite roll, therefore making it easier in the field to tie the geonet to geonet and tie the geotextile to geotextile. To learn more about this process, reach out to us at agroamerica.com.